They still haven't improved on our model. Oh, you can't modify perfection. We are the best. Episode 450. Wow. 450. It's, uh, yeah, we made it this far. We're still 12 years it. in the makeup, however, however long it's Whatever it is. Oh, my God. I tell Break you. The legend. Great, great time. Slice of heaven. So, and um, who are you? I'm Matt Durson. Thank you. I was like, what do we do next? I'm Matt Durson. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm uh, Joseph Bottoms, a.k.a. John Hunt. Th- thanks, thanks for having me. The, uh, this is Clay Inferno. Oh, Clay. Welcome back to the show. Oh yeah, that. you're our special guest. Thanks. Uh, Friend it's a show. pleasure to be here. A pleasure to be here. Um, I had some scheduling conflicts. Um, I had to be on CNN early. Uh, the last time we were supposed to record this, and uh, you know, I didn't do my hair and makeup. But it's a pleasure to be here now. Thank you so much for having me on again. Oh, any time. Uh, yeah, I noticed you've been wearing a suit and everything lately. You've been really dressing to the nines. Yeah, like a real man. Well, yeah. I, I think that around 450 is the time when an adult it's starts a very, to... That's uh, a very formal episode. Mm. Yeah, it's, you know. yeah, 450 is when a, when a podcast becomes a man. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like a bar mitzvah. It's a tuxedo. So, oh yeah. yeah, we get to five hundred. Forget dun, it. Dun, 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 to the tens, dun, 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 dun. not even to the nines. Tens, it's twelve. But th- but these these suits go to eleven. <laughs> oh, very well. All right. So for our four fiftieth, we're gonna do which we haven't done in a while. A little watch along action. To oh, watch Disney. along, Disney's. The Black Hole, 1979 classic, sci-fi classic. classic ed- in oh. quotes. Oh, oh, I guess you're right. I mean, <laughs> classic can mean anything. It I, I it's a classic. Like, it uh, means uh, it's old. I'm I, an unapologetic fan of this movie. I see its flaws, but I still love it. I think oh. I am. I This is like a weird thing to say. I think I remember watching this at my Nana's house when I was like real little, but I kind of don't remember it but i kind of remember it when i'm watching little clips of it so i'm like kind of well i don't know do i like this i don't remember let's see (laughs) let's see well yeah i mean i think i haven't seen it in a long long time myself although i remember loving it as a little kid but you know when you're a little kid you're just like yay yay Um, it's 79 so it's like almost like 40 40 plus years yeah 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 yeah. I mean, the, I think years, as of this recording. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing this movie. I remember being scared as a kid. And I, oh, it does have like, some 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 sort of nightmarish qualities to, to yeah. part of it. It's, it's a very uh, sort of gothic type of style to it, in a way. All star yeah. cast, first PG uh, movie. Yeah, we Black should Hole. talk about the stuff during the movie instead. Of right, I'm just saying. I don't want to give it a little preview. Yeah, yeah. Because I've got I've got like 10 minutes worth of material I have to spread out over 90 minutes. So well, just, we want to <laughs> give some people some, some context at the top. You right. know, that's all I'm saying. No, it's fine. It is, but it was yeah, uh... it's the first time that Disney had a movie that had the word fuck in it. Does? No. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> no. We felt oh like shit. Oh uh, no, it doesn't have the fuck in it, but it uh, it is PG. And it's yeah, it's I very did, fun. I did go on RedTube to try to find like a bootleg version of this, and uh, yeah, that is so that is not what came up. I tell you, it was not sci-fi. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, the right. I see what you go. I see what you did. There. Well, uh, there was a review, I guess, that came out at the time that said this movie is both sexist and racist in its title all at once. I'm like, <laughs> that's reading into it a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. perv. That guy's a perv. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it was a guy that wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his the height of his horniness. 
right. All right. Let's, All right, uh, let's, let's how record do we do this. this We're doing this. Uh, I'm week. in control, so you just well, sit back, crack open that beer. No, crack open that is... beer, have a little right. sippy sip or whatever. You know, back, pop a gummy. And, uh, it's a movie time. Pop yeah. a gummy bear and this. I I had, uh, we're animals. using right. the uh, we... yep. group watch feature here on uh, on Disney Plus, which uh, will solve the many problems we have syncing the beginning of our other watch logs. It's, usually... it's like I, guess... I think I'm a little behind you. I think I'm a little. The ahead only of you. problem is that if anyone else wants to do it, they have you have to tell them exactly when you're pressing play because if if any fool is out there actually watching along. Which, Jeez. Mm-hmm. which they're not. I'm sure you're not. If you're watching along, we love you. Yeah. Uh, great. Yeah. So just like the old uh, beginning of the show, the top of the show, three, two, one, record is what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say three, two, one, start, and then I press pressing the button when I hit start. Is it three, two, one, start, then go, or is it? Three, it two, doesn't. One, you done. It's okay. three, two, one, start. When I say start, I'm pressing the button. All right. Okay. Three, do this. two, one, start. What happened? It's supposed to tell me to join stream. Oh, here it goes. See? Sinking the group. This is exciting. Well, it has started. We can add reactions. Now, in the top right, you should be able to add, to go to subtitles, John, if you were asking. Yeah, do you see a subtitle? That little thing? keyboard looking thing. I see it. Yeah. Is the movie playing? Yeah, it's the it's the. Remember how this is the last movie to have an orchestra? I mean, uh, this and <laughs> this and uh, yeah, yes, orchestra. But last week, Durston and I were talking when Clay didn't show up, and he was saying this was the last movie to have this in Star Trek: The Motion Picture was the last yeah. two movies to have an orchestra before, and I was like, uh, that that. So every other movie since then has just been I, a guy on a Casio keyboard. Well, you can said, do a I lot of stuff. Overture. The word we were looking for is overture, yes. But overture. Well, I'm, I'm, it begin with pleasure. oh. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Thanks this is the most up. exciting watch along we've ever done. Like, <laughs> wow, happening. it's like yeah, I'll vamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed the show. I missed the show. You know what? Hey, you things happen. You know, podcasts. We've been but doing I, this for uh, a long time. My, my close so caption doesn't vamp? seem to be working here. Shouldn't it be showing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it should say. Like, dun, dun, dun. It should say music playing. Mine says woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo. That's the end. Yeah, no way. When you're going home, <laughs> Andy Newman. This is this is. I we probably should have thought of this before uh, we. We don't think of anything. Movie. Don't overthink it, bro. <laughs> don't overthink it. Yeah, overthink. Yeah. Think we don't think at all. That's yeah, the right, right. that's what we've, we've been doing for so long. Man, well, this is good. This gives me a time. I can switch over to IMDb and look at the the trivia. Well, I can here. tell you something about this overture and the sound, the score in general. It was all right. by John Barry who is famous for his scores of the James Bond podcast. It is also the first uh, score to be recorded digitally. Digitally. And in 2011, they released the entire remastered digital score on CD, which, of course, I purchased because I'm a nerd. Wow. Go. go back and listen to our Jade's Bond podcast. Yeah, I'm sure I talk about John Barry in there somewhere. Yeah. Now John Barry came up. Go back and uh, learn how to play. Time, uh, he was on a roll for doing great scores for terrible movies. So <laughs> this is not a terrible movie. <laughs> you need to suppress that. I mean, it's not. I don't know. It's, it's not a great movie. But not a great movie. It's an piggybacking on the piggybacking on the digital recording. This is uh, this one is of the, the first uh, computer animated uh, intros. The longest use of a computer mm-hmm. animated. Uh, Thingy Michigan at the time. That's the because uh, wasn't a lot of the Star Wars stuff just like hand drawn animation and not really computers. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. models and um, like lasers and stuff were all yeah done by hand. Yeah, so. but but also this, like when they Tron showed the like and, they showed like Tron a wasn't computer wasn't screen, a ton right? of computer stuff. But a lot of their backgrounds were uh were like you know black velvet drawings that they super impo- imposed the uh, actors on. Black Velvet, if you please. But, oh God, that was another song I learned early on in my, in my drum <laughs> drum lessons. Uh, 
but uh but this sort of like was the beginning of disney's short experimental period where they did the because this was their first pg movie as you established which got a lot of blowback from save it for the podcast okay yeah wait till we're recording uh and also then this sort of this led to tron being really and then there was like a the black cauldron which was their first pg animated film so they were sort of in a in a experimental phase and now Uh, they're in the most like they're like we own everything in fact, movie, so it doesn't matter. R, not R. This movie was so like controversial, and they were like, "This is we're going to try to appeal to you know not just kids because we can't make enough money off of kids." That they on the poster it does not say Walt Disney presents. They were releasing it under the Buena Vista. Buena Vista. Uh, Interesting. Yes. Well, so later on, they released movies under Touchstone, like Roger Rabbit and stuff like that. So, yeah, they they had their little subsidiaries that they would. Uh, Release movies under. We yes. should note as well. So Vincent, the voice of Vincent, uh, is Roddy McDowell, uncredited. Credited, yes. Yeah. I hope he got paid. His, uh, Slim Pickens was also uncredited. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe they just don't want to put that weird name in the credits. But the, I guess they wanted. If it is a weird name, and I'm sure Slim <laughs> is his real name. <laughs> there he is. It's not. It's was, not. Yeah. I get Vincent. Oh, I'm, I'm a couple. Favorite. I'm a couple of seconds behind you guys. Of course. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, so was Tron inspired by this directly in the way that Rogue One was inspired by it directly? They were like, look at this cool computer thing. Imagine if we had light cycles I on think, this uh, I, wire I, graph. I think it was more like that they were like, Black Hole got greenlit. Let's pitch Tron. We can make some garbage. I also like point out that this the effect side, of, the, of the hologram is all done in camera. That's uh, right. Had, like, cool a, for a, a sheet of glass that they projected it on. Wow. And yeah. as I understand, this is kind of a remastered version that's on. Yeah, they Disney removed Plus. a lot of the um, wires that you could see. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, which is unfortunate because I, I right. know, you know, because I've watched the movie so many times, I generally know which shots that the, the wires were in. But it's high just, definition. I mean, it's for the best, but sometimes it's fun to see how things used to be. You know. Yes. Yeah. But I have to say, I might as well bring it up right now. Vincent was my favorite character, and John had a. Did, you had Maximilian. Did someone have a Vincent like, and, uh, model? Well, I, I had both. Um, oh, okay. And they were, yeah, because I, I got them for like 99 cents <laughs> at the Christmas tree shop, and they were poorly put together because I could not build them very well. Uh, about two years ago, I tracked down a Maximilian from because they, you know, they haven't put them out since 1979, which cost me about right. 80 bucks. They they're going from even more than that now. Um, mm. But yes, I had I had them both. Okay, I feel like I might have broken one even. And I believe Slaw had a couple of the figures from this movie. Because ah. well. there was a ton of mer- merchandising. Uh, yeah. Wait, merchandising. <laughs> A friend of mine, maybe about five or six years ago, knowing what a fan I am of the movie, bought me, like, you know, I don't know where he got it, but as a gift, gave me the the black hole uh, story of the black hole, like the movie on record kind of thing. Oh, nice. nice. Isn't there like a yeah. book? Yeah. Wasn't there like well, a making of like, book? There was, was a, there was a there the small book with the, you know, which you can find on, on YouTube. Uh, but this was more of like the actual movie, you know, like how they would do it with Raiders and the Star Wars right. movies. They, it would be like a condensed version of the movie rather than I love my Star things. Star Wars episode four, one of those. I love it. Yeah, this is uh I mean that's how they did it back then. Yeah. Ernest Borgnine, what a motherfucker. Look at this dude. <laughs> he looks like every gym teacher that ever yelled at me. Well, you know, I, I guess Ernest Borgnine is a very nice guy, but I always pictured him to like be one of those guys that would fart a lot on set, like on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like to me. He'd be like, "Hey guys, come over here." He has the you old know? guy confidence to just like yeah, let one rip and be like, "Ha ha, smell that, Vincent." I like that. Someone told me a story about him before he died, uh, where he was on like a radio show because he was fairly up there before you know in age before he died. Where it was, so, it was something along the lines where. I don't know if, if like the mic was hot and he didn't know it or whatever, but they were, they were sort of like, what's the secret of your longevity? And he's like, I masturbate a lot. You know? 
I remember that story that age too. Didn't care, right? yeah. I remember that story, dude. I totally yeah, remember so that. There you go. And so these guys are in zero G or something. Yes, which is why originally they had cast a different woman for this this part of Kate McRae. Uh, and uh, I can't remember who she is now offhand because my notes are non-existent. I had it all last week. But uh, they, she had long hair, and they were like, in zero G, you need to cut off your hair. And uh, she did a lot of stuff for, like, shampoo and, like, advertising. And they were like, you got to cut it off. And she's like, okay, but I got to get my style as Vidal Sassoon to do it. So she was drinking. And they would cut, and she drank, and they would cut some more until it was short. But she got so drunk that when she drove home, she got in a car accident and couldn't do the movie. So they had to hire someone else. They couldn't fucking call her an Uber or a fucking give her a right. ride home after making her cut off her hair. I mean, women are very serious about the length of their hair and or getting maybe it cut. They could have just given her a shorter wig to wear, or just stuck a shit ton of hairspray in her hair to just stick it straight out like in the eighties and go, "That's zero G hair." Well, it wasn't the 80s quite yet, so. I know, just short of the 80s. And uh, we've got uh, Joseph Bottoms as Charlie Pfizer. And there's an unfortunate name if I've ever heard one. Still climbing. I think they were even said that they wanted to um, send these guys, like, up into space like they did for... Um, Apollo 13, but they yes. it wasn't allowed at the yeah. time. Yes. But they probably had astronaut tanks, like pools, that they could be zero G in. It seems like that would be a lot of work. Is Derson still here? I'm sorry, I muted because the guy was, I was talking, but the guy upstairs was hammering something. Oh. I heard like a little bang bang. I was like, am I at my house? No, I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was talking a little bit. I said her name was Yvette Mimio, but that's the name of the actress. But I, yes. I do want to mention, because uh, I think it's really funny, Vincent is not an acronym per se. It stands but it kind of is, but it's awesome. Right. It's like half a back acronym. Yeah. It's vital information necessary, centralized. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> just, it means uh, not to, Yeah, know, it doesn't mean that. It's like, it's like S.H.I.E.L.D., right? Yeah. Supreme Headquarters, Blah blah blah. No one cares. Yeah. It's shield just means shield. like ten different things too, if like depending yeah, on what sh- era you read. Uh, but also and defense. <laughs> they, uh, that made more sense than the real one. The one you <laughs> <laughs> they they made a bunch of uh, robot designs. They wanted it to be kind of cute, like R two, uh, but then they it was like saying that it was like kind of monstrous and like oh that thing's like kind of scary. We want to sell some toys, maybe. Yeah, so make it more, look more like a beer keg with a <laughs> pop on it. Oh, he was supposed to have beer eyes keg. like that moved around, but apparently yeah, they, they, they give it like little readouts, but it didn't, it didn't work. Yeah. It's kind of like the the shark that didn't work in Jaws or something. Yeah. They just said fuck it, like they, <laughs> they were just like yeah. never mind. Vincent will just his eyes just won't move. Imagine being stuck on this little ship with these people. They're so. <laughs> Uncharismatic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so well, I did. Boy, he was farting all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be trapped on a ship with a guy that's gassy. <laughs> I, I think I watched the uh, the Siskel and Ebert review, and they were like, uh, "They're just people weren't doing anything." You know, yeah, they, did not, they did not like it. Mm. They did not like it. This is kind of the, I hate to say this, it was the style at the time, right? I mean, certain movies, these slow sort of... Yeah, well, this movie was in, like, production for several years. Because, it like, after the Poseidon adventure was, like, a big hit in in 72, then they were pitched... Oh, like like disaster movies. Yeah, Yeah. they were like, let's do a disaster movie in space like that. Right. Yeah, and it was called like this Space Probe cool. or Space Station One or something. Yeah, they went through a lot of changes in the early yeah. stages. Which uh, I think wasn't Ernest Borgnine in Poseidon Adventure. Oh, that's a good question. I do not know. Yeah, he was like <laughs> masturbating in part, and he was like, yeah, he was like he was like Captain Chronic masturbator or something. Oh, I figured you'd have something to say about Robert Forster. Mr. Why would Dawson. I? 
Ernest Borgnine. Chris's Chris? big career comeback was in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Uh, Ernest Borgnine is in Poseidon Adventure, for the record. Thank you. Well done. Well done Along Clay. with Red Buttons. So Red Buttons was here. He gets credit, but uh, Slim Pickens is not. <laughs> Red Buttons and Slim Pickens. That's a buddy picture for you. <laughs> If you could have got Scatman, Cru- oh, you, you can see the you can see the the wire there when he came out the door. Look at his oh, little yeah. his little ball. This is all kind of cool, balls. man. I think this is fun. Ah, see now it says electrical sizzling. Like why didn't yeah, it, it get the music? <laughs> Did it's Robert Forrester was also um... sorry, just in <laughs> Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> he was also. Had that great role in Breaking Bad, right? Is that yeah, that was, that was yeah, that's the end. He sort of brought yeah, him. That was like, his uh, yeah, that was his last thing. Yeah, final role was in the terrible Breaking Bad movie. Netflix movie yeah. that they did. I didn't oh, see I never that. saw that. No, he did others. He was in Better Call Saul and stuff. Yeah, he was he was awesome in those. But I think the last thing he filmed was the Breaking Bad movie. This gives uh, IMDb says he was in a movie called Grave Intentions in 2020. But nobody made movies in 2020. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's fine. It's I'm fine. also well, um, think of it as Better Call Saul. Yeah. I'll, I'm also doing an Ernest Borgnine thing, but it's not farting, if you know what I mean. Oh, that Yvette, maybe you. Um, <laughs> Anthony Perkins, of course, also big star, psycho. and. I, I wanted to talk it. a little bit about Anthony Perkins, if you don't mind. If we Please. can we take a. Can we take a somber turn? This is a little sad. So we gotta, <laughs> but, what song do we play for this? <laughs> if we play. We, I have a song, but it'll it'll Not be in, con- in context. No, 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 well, no. you can see you can see the wires hold. hold well, that was a. Oh, yeah. I guess that's intentional. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking a. Oh, so look bad. at that! So obvious. Close it. Oh, look, it's like a Throwing. top to like a, a a soda bottle or something. So right, Tony I, Perkins. Was knowledge. Basically, uh, you know, very closeted. Mostly, mostly had same sex relationships, and then he met this one lady, and their therapist was like, "I think make, being a homosexual is like making you really a bad person and stuff." And it was like almost like one of those conversion therapy things. It's like you should like get married and like have a kid. And then he did. I think he fell in love with with uh, Vanessa Redgrave and like he married some other lady or something. And then they had two kids. They had Oz Perkins. And then they had, have you guys ever heard of a musician called Elvis Perkins? That's Anthony Perkins son. Oh, I didn't know that. So, uh, you know, he's very talented. He's, he's our age. He was born in 1976. Uh, so Elvis Perkins is a really talented dude. I love that guy's music. He's awesome. But he has this like awesome record that came out called Ash Wednesday. The saddest thing happened to his mom. So n- nine years after Anthony Perkins died of AIDS in 1992, mm-hmm. after filming Psycho 4. Um, that's they, unfortunate there. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's, the, that's the sad part of the story. I said everybody relax. <laughs> no, uh, no, the, the, sad, the, really, sad, that they made the really sad thing was second. that his, his mom died in the crash in 9-11 nine years on the eve of the nine year anniversary of Anthony Perkins death. So like nine 11 happens, but it was also like a somber time for the family because you know, Anthony Perkins died nine years before that. And uh, so he, but I highly recommend this album called Ash Wednesday by Elvis Perkins. Cause it's all, it's, it's a short little EP, but it's all songs about like his dad and his mom. And it's like very surreal. And very cool um but uh but that's my little anthony perkins drop oh i would like to uh i would like to continue along the lines of uh family here and point out that Damn. uh peter ellenshaw longtime disney uh mad artist and production designer came out of retirement to work on this film for special wow. effects and designs along with his son who is also a matte painter and special matte effects painting. guy um Harlan uh, Ellen Shaw, and uh, who he was also he also worked doing matte paintings on uh, Star Wars and the uh, Empire and stuff like that. In fact, wow. at one point when they were doing re- they were 
he couldn't finish the filming parts because he was working on Empire. So and he's also the one when they, they made the black hole by taking, you know, a water tank, spinning it around, making like yep. a whirlpool, and they would dump uh, uh, like different colors of uh, lacquers into it so it wouldn't mix with the water. And that's how they got the black hole. They had hole to keep it hot or something, right? Yeah. And then, the, and then the tank that they had it ex- exploded because of the heat. So, Ooh. yeah. Was Ernest Borgnine like, yeah, keep it hot. I gotta, get, I, gotta, I, gotta stay young. I gotta stay young. I can't finish if it's not hot. And I gotta, I'm gonna have to look up the name of the original producer on this movie who had, who had sort of seen it through its initial development. But yeah, uh, cause when I was watching it on YouTube, I had the closed captions up and they kept saying his name was hitler which it, it isn't yeah yeah <laughs> it, it kept hitler. sounded like hitler, hitler, too. Winston hitler hitler yeah, yeah. Hitler. <laughs> Winston Winston hitler. i was like well if my last name was hitler i think i would have changed it yeah just change it to a b maybe his name is yeah, just be hitler. these models and stuff look all look really cool oh, they're like, fantastic like and, um uh, like Alan star trek the motion picture style yeah which they well, came out just 13 days weeks. apart i think right yeah yeah just a couple of weeks apart also yeah. alien came out the same month oh there you go apparently the story goes that they were looking at sigourney weaver as the female lead in this and then they were like sigourney weaver that's a weird name i don't want her in the movie that's a man's name <laughs> we'll take slim pickens though <laughs> we'll take yvette Mimu. get Here. me red buttons <laughs> All right, so here's another Get me maybe... trash can Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> so originally they wanted to use the Dykstra Flex camera, which was created for Star Wars. And then uh, someone was like, Dykstra, is that a lesbian camera? <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that part. Of Anthony Star Perkins. Wars. I'm glad you said it. I didn't. <laughs> All right. I, I was definitely thinking. So that. apparently the, Disney, they couldn't agree on the price. So Disney has made its own called the Automated Camera Effect System, which is ACES. AKA ACES, which kind of like it it made me think of you when you uh, commented on how clean my toilet hallway looks like a vajaj. Did I say it was ACES? Yeah, you're like, by the way, ACES on the toilet. (laughs) All right, it was. John's toilet is always impeccable. Then so. But the cool thing was, so the Aces was way better than the Dykstra Flex. Um, so, like, it was Aces. It was Aces. <laughs> which I think so. It, the camera is able to move on. It's called the Matt Scan system. Uh, Matt Scan system. Matt Scan. Matt Scan. Yeah, yeah, Matt, right here. Yeah, I, I it's just scan. Uh, I gotta say, I think maybe production design set wise, you know, all the d- different little crew compartments and wherever they're walking around and now in the ship or whatever like i think it exceeds star trek the motion picture it already looks I like think way it, better. yeah I, in terms of production design it's certainly more interesting yes yes star trek was very like was, everything yeah. is is like is like beige you know, yeah oh, this, this is way more colorful is beige. But, uh, it's, but, and like, it, but just the designs like it, it's more like the exterior of the cygnus looks sort of it's like it's all grading and and uh you know star trek kind of like catches up in top. two and three yeah yeah you know it kind of catches up to this kind of like because you don't know how big the enterprise is these guys could be inside the enterprise somewhere yeah right now. and they use yeah. they use a lot of matte paintings, matte paintings. Uh, to extend the sets and i think it's very effective i did watch a review about this where they were like look at how lame this is and i was like dude it's 1979 I, yeah i mean look at how big like like you had to do this all by hand. Scale. Yeah. I mean they did The only part job. you could do by computer was that grid pattern at the very beginning. <laughs> so matte painting uh, trivia. I'm surprised one of you guys didn't drop the numbers, but I'm, I like to do the numbers game. Previous yes. to this, the 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 movie with the most matte paintings was Mary Poppins and there was number of 8. And the total number of matte paintings in this movie, 100 and 50 that's right breaking the record for matte paintings oh. in a movie wow hey speaking of hibbler those robots were kind of doing a little goose stepping there that was kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's pronounced I'm... himmler <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> but look so at Vincent of, there. I mean, like he looks it, like he's floating. Like he's a little he's, guy, one the, yeah. One of the tricks they would do with that was like they had a bunch of different Vincents, and you know they'd have one on like a like a gimbal, and they'd have one that just be on like a little thing, and then sometimes they would hang upside down and shoot the shot. You know, they just turn the camera around so it looked right side up, so all the wires would come out of the bottom, but everybody be looking for the at the top for the wire. So Whoa. And then oh, yeah, Jesus. they just they had Fucking different ponders. ones where they just like put him <laughs> they put Vincent like on like a like a wheelie cart and only shoot the top of his head. So yeah. it would look like he was jiggling around anyways. But yes. somebody's just pushing it. There's a line that Vincent says that uh, I love. And when we get to it, I will point it up. But one of the things that they don't explore that they introduce in this is that Vincent and uh, Dr. Kate McRae have an ESP connection that they can Here communicate telepathically. And they, oh, yes. Right? Uh, yeah. But they don't do anything with it. <laughs> other than yeah, like, they send each other be a like couple a... text messages, you know? I think yeah. that would be like a big thing, like a, like a Vulcan mind meld kind of like work into the story somehow yeah why well, mention if you're not gonna do yeah. it check out the sp just you could just have uh <laughs> you could just have it like you have an earpiece in her ear and he just sends a message i don't know why you have to be connected mentally but anyway i'm just gonna say that charlie pfizer says that he's like are you here to make my life you know like uh like a, a mess or to insult me and he's like no i'm here to educate you and uh mm. that's that's the line I like because I want to say that to everybody that says something dumb to me. Yeah, I'm here to educate. You say that to yeah. us a lot. That's weird. Oh, look, know, Darth Vader and <laughs> and uh, the Emperor. There's little maquettes in the background there, having a little lightsaber fight. Yeah, it's nice. Hello. Oh, cause so her dad was on this. Oh ship, yes, right. On this ship. That's yes, the, that's yeah. correct. I'm painting my planet. Leave me alone. Yeah, what is that all? Yeah, what is it? What are they doing? He's like, I have to comb the planet. He's getting a little <laughs> matted. <laughs> we ain't fine shit. <laughs> comb in the desert. I mean, this is pretty. I mean, like, yeah, again, 1979. Yes. It's pretty. It's actually pretty psychedelic. Tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. In the way oh, that. Here, my, um, here is, this is. This is the greatest, like, best oh. robot ever. Ah, oh, look at it. It. <laughs> That's <laughs> like Homer. Max Elliot is the coolest sci fi villain looking robot thing. He is badass. He's better than those uh, weird oh. robot sentries they have that walking around with the funny guns. I kind of like those guns as a, as a kid. Mm. Yeah, Double. Mm. Did They're they ever even shoot them? I don't even remember. They do. Oh, okay. I love the fact that Vincent is like a badass, even though he's just a little guy. I know. Max can kick his ass. Well, it's like, he, like I'll help. He, he very much is like R2 in that respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like R2 is always like, well, yeah. and stuff. I feel like they were obviously trying to make a, an R2 that talks. That was basically like the yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Connection until everybody else pointed it out. So, uh, uh, but I'm right. just. I'm, I'm not very bright sometimes. You're just a weird dummy. But Vincent is like, he's, he's a little bit better. Me. He's a little bit better than R2. He is better than R2. He can fly. Oh, now R2 can fly too. Wee. Once they, uh, once they uh, cast Maximilian Shell in the role, they changed the spelling of robot Maximilian's name to 1L rather than 2. Oh, oh big uh, change. Big change. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan I'd letting one rip right there. It's walking up to Perkins. Uh -huh. You can tell. Um, You'll never be able to think of Ernest Borgine without thinking about him no. farting and masturbating. No, it's true. It's over. Not that I thought about him that much anyway. Yeah, I, think, I wonder, was that like from Howard Tales Stern Navy, or something? <laughs> it might have been from Howard Stern, maybe? I don't know. That seems like something that would be on Howard Stern. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely well, uh, remember you know that. that uh, Ernest Borgnine was, uh, I don't know if he won an Oscar, but he was up for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Derek, like, uh, what's going on here? This is a little, a little creepy. This guy is so weird. Especially when he's got that light flashing right on his eyes. <laughs> it's perfect. Maybe they're doing ESP. 
off camera to just shine it right on his eyes. <laughs> Borgnine is kind of does play the like older in the movies McCoy kind of character, you know. Until later, I won't spoil it for you, Clay. Spoil it, but you find out about his uh, his less good side. His yeah, he's being a little con part. here. He's kind of like but he's a reporter. City of five or whatever, you know. Yeah. He's kinda... Wait, are you talking about the bad guy? You're talking about Ernest Borgnine? Oh, I'm talking about Maximilian Shell. I'm oh, sorry. I, yeah, I, I, I I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. His character takes a, a turn later. Your dear father, choose to. Yeah, I'm doing it as Ricardo Montalban now. Yeah, but no, he did more like this, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony Perkins' character sort of ends up having like a big man crush on, on uh, Dr. Hans Reinhardt. Like, like it, you get a li- you feel a little bad for the for him when you see what hero worship he has. From he's sort of is willing to look past all of his faults and believe all the crap because he wants to believe the crap. Well, I, it, I mean, it's good that they have this different characterizations and stuff. It's not just like here's also one of my favorite lines. Really good guy. Like, have you met the goon met, met the goon squad? He's like goon squad. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I no. guess um noise. The uh, the drones, the guys in the black outfits, they had a cool, um, like visor thing that you could see through. But then yeah. the other guys in the the sort of the other drones, or I don't know if they're robots like or the whatever, stormtroopers. stormtrooper guys, they couldn't see fucking anything. No, they had to look at like if they were marching, they had to look at the guy's feet in front of them to see where they were going. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but you remember that Disney sound effects of outer space. I, I that record? Oh, nope. yeah. And if we'd always I, see that. sound effect, I, 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 I'm certain that the robot character they had on the cover of that was very much inspired by these black hole centuries. Yeah, I think you're right. I still have that record. I do as well. In fact, oh, I might have it right here. What? I remember that was. I don't know why I listened to that so much. It was there was nothing to it, just sound effects. Well, on the side two, it had sound effects to like a story. I but never listened to side two. Oh, <laughs> missing out. I would listen to side one constantly, just side like the two sound, like 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 a little, and he'd be like a guy in a spaceship clicking stuff on, and he'd be like, <gasps> I gotta get, I you know, like, I gotta get away. Kind I of wish thing. I shared this memory with you guys. I want to listen to that right now. It's pretty. Uh, I bet you I can, can look it up on YouTube. Probably on YouTube, man. Huh? I love this little Vincent Maximilian sort of te- a tet here. It's like you back yeah. off. You back yeah. off. It's, ah. like when, it's like when my cats both want to eat out of the same bowl. <laughs> and like Vincent's doing that little like squint. It's almost like he's squinting because his eyes are half closed. Here. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Nineteen eighty one Walt Disney Studios The Sound of Outer Space with the Mac Millions. That's, that's probably it. That sounds like it. It's confirmed. It's confirmed on YouTube. It's confirmed as that they got ideas from this movie or it's confirmed that that's what John and I were talking about. That's what you guys are talking about and I oh. found it. Now I can enjoy it. We can we can do that as a watch along next. <laughs> I just have it going on, adding soundtrack, adding sound effects to the movie. Both things are playing now. <laughs> Both things are playing now, and you guys are talking, and it's very confusing. Oh, I should turn sorry. that off. We're just doing sound effects. No, that was you don't need to listen neat. to it. I don't Everybody need to listen knows. to it now. I'll listen to it later. Yeah, no, well, yeah, we'll listen to it after the show, along with uh, Dire Straits at the same time. <laughs> uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says that this movie is the worst case of science in any movie of all time. Just wow, like, that's just pretty. Not. That's like that, pretty bold. <laughs> Whoa, we got a badass Neil over here. Tyson, because he says that about like every movie, just about. He, he hates everything. But, yeah. Has he ever been in a black hole? Does he? Yeah. I, I can't say. Okay. 
But he did say, uh, well, I, I used to listen to his podcast, so I, he did talk about what would happen to you if you got sucked into a black hole. But, I mean, we're also going on 1979 science, and it's a movie. Whoa, look at those right. guys flying on speeder bikes or whatever. That was mm. cool. Real. It's a mad painting. <laughs> But I mean, it's fairly seamless. Though. No, I it's, think this it looks, looks great. great. I'm not I wish I was fun. watching this on on a bigger screen. Actually, I would have been if I could have, you know, mm. figured out how to do the whole watch along party I'm with sorry. you guys. Yeah, I'm not trying I to would like to. Uh, <laughs> so after I got my Maximilian model, Diamond Selects also came out with uh, like one six scale black hole figures in the last year or so, and uh, I didn't like the paint job on Maximilian, so I mm. repainted. Oh. So that he had, oh, oh so that he uh, looks more like the movies. Put in, you repainted him. You repainted, repainted the Diamond him, yeah. Select guy. Wow. Yeah. And I added lighting to him, so he had his, his glowy eye. Nice. There is also a Funko Pop, uh, Vincent and Bob, and I think Maximilian as well. I think Maximilian is one of those bigger ones, but I think they're also like fifty bucks or something because they're like, oh, very rare. Well, I have the thirtieth um, anniversary. Um, Vincent uh, sideshow collectibles thing where he's I mean, he's fairly large but he's painted in the colors of Tron so oh, uh, he weird. cost me a pretty penny at the time mm. that's the uh, one that, that you bring on to the laundry yeah you were loaded I was loaded and I could just buy shit like and that. you like now strap him into the in into your into car. the front seat yes yeah. with the seatbelt on so you could ride the the hover lane. Yes, uh, I got pulled over anyway. This was a shot you used to be able to see Bob's wires, but wow! I, mean, I was going to say, I hope you had a wire attached to the one that was in your car as well. Oh, naturally, yeah. Bob it, was a. I loved. I don't know why I thought Bob was such a fun pain. character as he kid. was. Like he was. He's so charismatic. Right? He is. He's charismatic. He's all beat up. Like he's. Yeah. He's no, just... I like the, the fact that he is beat up, but he's always like, no one can improve upon our design. We're the best. He literally says we're the best. When he's dying, he's like, we're the best. And I'm like, yeah. And I was going to say, like, when you see that, do you go, yeah, you're the best when you're watching it by yourself? <laughs> you're the best around. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm gonna 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 start to beat me down or whatever. They did. Yeah. Like, he was, a, he was bullied by all these other. Yeah, it's a, he's like oh, a wow. sad. It's a sad sack. <laughs> sad, sad That's sack. Like, but uh, apparently, in the in the design process, they've made like a clay sculpture of him, and the director uh, came in and was like, "He's not beat up enough." And then, yeah, took like a piece of plywood or a bat or something and started bashing <laughs> it up and said, "This is what he should look like." But since it was made out of clay, when the designers made him, he looked kind of melty, like how clay would look if it was beat up. Rather hey, than, hey, 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 hey! Yeah, you know, it's made out Molding of like, clay. clay oh, oh, yeah. It's, it's you a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes, please come back again, Clay, when you have a chance. We'd love to have I'm, you back. I would. I'll, I'm going to get strapped into this little chair, and I'm, I'll be right over. Very well. We we don't want to see your wires. <laughs> I like how they're like future. So make the doors like I don't know, like a triangle, Futury. but don't cut off the top of the triangle. Then we're going to yeah, use these. Exactly. We're going to save these. And this is going to be the prison that Loki uh, is imprisoned in in the first yeah. Thor movie. Hold, hold on to it <laughs> for another 35 years. <laughs> Don't break the set down. We're going to use this it on Loki like a, screaming. This looks like some kind of WeWork space or something. Yeah, like that. <laughs> right, like, right. <laughs> There's staples. There's staples right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> oh, like this podcasting room comes with uh, Wi-Fi and pictures of somebody else's kids? Cool. And this weird really? leaf thing on the wall? That looks like Tron over there on the left. What? It? It'd be <laughs> cool if uh, there was a poster of Yvette Mimu on the wall. Yeah, so that he's uh, a nice, nice Ford, like maybe. Do a little... Yeah, maybe he's like he's like this might fit. I would a little be less psyched if I opened up a closet market. and that all that stuff was in there. I would wear those things. Yeah. Right. Sorry, Shh. I can't afford. This we work. It's five hundred bucks a month. Is too much. <laughs> I mean, if I was working full time, maybe, but then I'd probably have an office. Yeah, I wouldn't even need it. <laughs> Air roaring. 
Can I come in and give you 50 bucks to record my podcast? Uh, yes. <laughs> How wrong with you? I had a stroke. <laughs> I like we had like. You give me the seconds. stink eye. You can just turn his head all the way around. All he does is have a, a stink eye because he couldn't give you <laughs> just one give stink, you stink eye. eyes. Matt Payne. Oh. I'm counting. I'm gonna say Matt painting 150 times the metric amount of Matt paintings that are in this movie. Matt I'm Payne. taking a drink every time you say <laughs> Matt painting 142. <laughs> Let me Matt tell painting you 141. Girl. Don't, yeah, you'll get alcohol poisoning. Don't. don't <laughs> this is pretty, pretty uh, intense beer. This is like eight percent. They told me to lose some weight before I shot this movie, but I said fuck it. <laughs> just <laughs> ripping a, ripping a big fat. I just lost some weight right there. Can you speak? Can you? Can you fart? Are you able to masturbate? <laughs> He's like, you're a good-looking <laughs> fellow on that face. Look at you, you look like me. Oh, man. <laughs> Dummy. He's got some eyebrows. Well, I was just about to say, yeah, it's uh -huh. time to... Yeah. I, saw, I saw a comedian post something online that was like, I am the... The, the barber doesn't need to ask me if I need my eyebrows, uh, eyebrows trim years old. <laughs> <laughs> Or it trims without asking years old. I forget which. This looks like that Matt Damon movie. Matt Damon. Yeah. Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. <laughs> All right, see you. Goodbye. Oh, I'm sad. Can't mm. speak. You know, you made me feel bad about it. Thanks a lot. I thought I could see. The hey, one thing I can't do. Be running in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I can't do, and he had to make fun of me. <laughs> I keep thinking he's got like a priest collar on with that thing. Maybe, maybe yeah. he is. That's I was why also he thinking. Some chat. He said, "Can you speak? I'll take your confession." <laughs> Five hail marys, my son. <laughs> well, I wonder how they got Vincent to stand up there. Oh, mm. some guy just holding him. How long is this shot? I guess the actor did have to wait Gonna a do long five time. Takes. They had to wait a long time with mostly technical setups. And then he would shoot for like a couple minutes, wait around all day. Uh, Maximilian Shell would often visit the Disney archives in between takes. Oh. Just poke around, I guess. He was also editing a movie at the time that he was directing. So he would he had his own editing suite for, for working. Really? Mm, yes. Really? Yeah, so, it's like uh, part of the conditions of him working on this movie was that uh, while I'm finishing this movie, can I get an editing bay? Now they would just be like, "Yeah, here's your MacBook." <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, right. You could just sit right there in your in your chair. Yeah, you yeah, don't have an you don't have an iPad. I guess we'll buy you an iPad, sure. So Harlan Ellison was briefly brought on as a scientific consultant on this movie. Well, and then he was fired. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally uh, his red, first day. Red, we should have had Red Shirt Brian come on and talk about Harlan Ellison as he was uh, as he had spoke to him on the phone that time. Yeah. Uh, apparently he pitched an animated porno starring Disney characters. I don't know what that is. And they found me. out. And like they he heard him talking about it and then said, All right, this guy's out of here. Well, and then he said, No, I was kidding. And then like yeah, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't kidding. There were people there. Apparently, it was in like the commissary or something. And and yeah, the people were like, "No, he wasn't kidding. He was being." <laughs> there you go, Harlan Ellison. Harlan Ellison, ladies and gentlemen. I guess Joe the listener, uh, Harlan. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I haven't done that one yet. Was it there? I guess there was kind of like a main stormtrooper kind of guy. I don't know what you'd call these. Yeah, things. he's he's he uh, like a mine. Black he he's also like an acronym. Star. M I M E. Right here. He used, to, he used to beat on. Uh, he used to beat, beat on, on Bob. Bob. Yeah. I also like the fact that uh, Vince is like, I hate hanging out with other robots. <laughs> well, he's he's better than them. They're the best. That's right. Around. The best. 
Uh, go in there and have some laughs. Like, they're going to have some food. You know, they're going to drink. Like, hey! hey I mean, the dialogue in this movie is not great, except for Vincent. And as you were, it's pretty funny. I like Vincent's paint job, where he's like, he's kind of like, got like, you know, that gold, like, not gold flake, but, you know, sort of like, it's a, like a, yeah, that's like a hot kind of, rod um, painting yeah. technique, so it makes it look like a little speckled. Yeah. Yeah, they are. But shooting. Bob doesn't. Bob is, no, he is. He's no good, uh, but he's awesome. I love Bob. Awesome. Oh, they just did they just say what the acronym was, and I, I missed it. It was like special something arms regiment. Yeah, Some, I don't know what the T was. But it was. I love how S is always special, isn't it? In these I days. like how he like kind of did the, like the he's cowboy sharper. thing. We're sharper. Yeah, look at how great I look at how sharp like, I am. This does his sound like are crooked. Uh, this does sound like Bob is like has talks about being sexually assaulted here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. And dude, you there's just something great. I, I this movie is fucking fun, man. Like those two like robots just hanging Reinhardt around talking shit. Production art for the movie hanging on his wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were like, what do we put here? <laughs> All right, let's throw this painting we got of the There is that a painting. shot up at some point where you can tell they where they reverse the footage because someone is walking backwards in it. It's like an exterior shot where it's the composite of the interior. But uh, someone walks backwards through the shot. Uh, I awesome. guess because of the previously mentioned uh, pool Previous explosion, pump. the yeah. explosion of the black hole that they were making, and I, I guess they even filmed this where they filmed twenty thousand leaves over the, um, yes. the sea because it was like it wasn't a big deal to clean up because they were it was already a waterproof already section a or whatever. But they, I guess, they weren't able to get all of the black hole stuff, so they did like. In, when they show the black hole, they are like using limited footage, and then they reverse it, and kind of they they didn't shoot as much as they wanted to of the actual yes. black hole. Interesting. Uh, I had uh, jobless Mike and his wife over a couple of weeks ago for the Fourth of July, and it was just like this where we had I served them food in robes while wearing a shiny mirror mask. It, it went over great. It seemed, I'm sure it was perfect. Yeah. Um, now this wine. And they've been marooned in space for a long time. I mean, I hope this wine... <laughs> it's, it's aged. Uh, it doesn't age after it's been bottled. Do they grow it, maybe, in that little garden thing? That he, he did say, at? he's like, he, he was, well, uh, Ernest Borgnine saw the, the, the large atrium there. And then yeah. he was like, no, no, we only have a couple little things, just enough for me. And he's like, looks like you got enough for a lot of people. He's like, shut up, nuh-uh. So, yeah, <laughs> probably... Probably had some grapes there. Yeah. Well, it's funny, too, because he does mention Earth years. Like, when he says, oh, you've been here for 20 years, he's like, well, 20 Earth years. Like, yeah. this is kind of... Reinhardt uh, years, that's different. Right. So maybe like, the, the wine hasn't aged that much. It's probably still good. Yeah, I don't Einstein's think... theory of relativity and wine, <laughs> as you hit the speed of light, wine ages slower. Yeah. Look at how close they are to this dangerous... Top my beer. I mean, you could not be this close to a black hole. Well, that, that's it. what they say to him earlier. And he's like, no, no, I've got this all worked out. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson says that this is all bullshit well, anyway. You, also, you wouldn't be able to see a black hole. What about a black hole, son? Oh, yeah, Won't you that. come? Black hole, son? And then everybody's eyes gets big. <laughs> There he is. We are the best. We are the best. And he says it again later. I'm the best. You are the like, best. He's like, come on over he's here. He's like, come over here. It's like, Lordy, it. he wants a rematch. Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Bob is the best. I, I think maybe I'll get one of those Funko she Bobs. I bet it's like, it's, it's expensive. Though. I'm going to say you should just do it anyway. Yeah. Why not? I just bought a condo. I, I can afford it. <laughs> Got extra money. Just yeah. lying around. Sure. You need, to, you need stuff to decorate this new condo. It's true. It's true. I can use it as a nice What's better uh, than a okay. junky old robot? <laughs> that cowboy thing cracked me up. Yeah, that wasn't even good. He just, like... <laughs> he just, <laughs> just kind of waved his hands around. It's like a little I done missed on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanical <laughs> laughter. What is it? <laughs> Mechanical <laughs> laugh. Mechanical, Mechanical laugh. laugh. <laughs> 
sharpshooting's behind me. I like that even, well, in Star Wars too, it's like, why aren't they just like sending the equivalent of a text message to communicate with another robot? Like, why do they we even hear what they have to say? You know, why are they talking using their voice? They could communicate so, wirelessly. Maybe they are communicating wirelessly, but for the oh, sake of the audience. Yeah, we have a babble fish in our ear and we can hear it. Yes, nice. exactly. exactly. See, you're getting all the sci-fi ones. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys both gave me a resounding exact yes. yes. You guys yes. are both very excited Wait, about that. You know I think we might make you a permanent fixture of the podcast now. <laughs> well, I always I, I I always say it's 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 the highlight of my week. Thank thank you so much for having me on. Oh, well, oh maybe thank you. In two weeks, maybe we'll see you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I, what I do in between weeks is I listen to old episodes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you're catching up on all the, all the bad <laughs> I want to know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, I, 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 I do catch I, I want, some things, you know? Yeah. I wanted to talk about going through a black hole very briefly, but the, the term that they use is called spaghettifying, I think, <laughs> where it's essentially where you, like, you just get stretched out because of the gravitational pull, like that, you turn into a piece of spaghetti that's just the gravitational pull. The gravitational pull. And that's 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 funky. That's so like spaghettifying. That's Something weird. like that. I, 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 I kind of picture that. Like, um, I almost think in like comics when they say like, "Oh, I'm getting, I'm going just into think of, space." Just think of uh, uh, like, Ribbon Man from uh, from the. Mid Coast Avengers, whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, Ribbon Man, Great Avengers. What was he didn't that guy? say yeah. Mr. Fantastic or Plastic yeah, Man. No, or he, he was like man. a Mr. Fantastic takeoff. Ribbon, oh, Ribbon yeah, Man. Is that a real thing? Come on. It was. It was the Great Lakes. Come on. Aye, 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 aye. Oy, oy. This aye. robot acting is pretty goofy, but apparently they had some world famous mime. Uh, That's what Clay was saying. Yeah. Oh, when? I sorry, I missed that. Oh, there we go. Come, sorry, Star. I, I keep thinking of the Lost Boys with that that girl's name Star. Yeah, like, oh, I like I was gonna be named Moonbeam or something. <laughs> but Star didn't. I didn't make it. <laughs> uh, I do want to. I just to go back to that reference. It was the Great Sir, Lakes Avengers. Yeah, no, I said that, but no one heard me. I'm oh, looking at it right was, now. Um, I'm on. Uh, what was Marvel. that guy's name though? Flatman or something like Val that. Val Ventura. Flatman. Flatman. <laughs> All right. Abe Flatman. That's weird. Actually, that you know what? Name. His first name is Matt. Oh, that's nice. Surname unrevealed. Matt Flatman. <laughs> Matt Flatman. <laughs> Matt Flatman. <laughs> you know what I said? Uh, Created by John Byrne. Reinhardt and uh, Maximilian are, are both clad in red. Oh yes, mm-hmm. not oh. by mistake. That stuff is yeah. not. Nothing is by yeah, accident. And like old Bob's got like Parkinson's or something. Well, he seems a little scared after what just happened to uh, to Star and that. Uh, Biosanitation Matt, Battalion, but he's one guy. Just one guy. <laughs> Nineteen eighty nine is when uh, Matt Flatman. I know you guys moved on, but uh, I'm fascinated by it, Matt. Matt Flatman, <laughs> and uh, you know. Yeah. I remember that. And Hawkeye was going to whip them into shape because he was on the outs with the West Coast Avengers. And uh, they it's actually an did just bring it back problem. kind of recently because Marvel can never let anything go. Well, uh, I think this is the scene where someone walks backwards. Yeah, he's walking backwards from wow. the door what, yikes, what, and sits what? down. Uh, <laughs> uh, Anyone want more beans? <laughs> I'm gonna have some more of this prune juice. You don't mind, Why right? Making me gassy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the blue screen work here is not great. Uh, around his like hair and stuff. The well, hair is again, tough. 1979. I'm willing to let it go. It was better than the uh, Bob uh, sled scene from uh, Honor Majesty's Secret Service, which is. Right, yeah, yeah. That's we just, good. yeah, go back listen, and listen, our, listen to that episode. Service episode, which was actually a very good episode. And I, I am very critical of my own stuff, but Your we did good. Stuff. Nice. Well, our, I mean, I'm always critical of mine. I'm like, why the fuck am I talking about when I'm editing these things? 
Oh, that's why I can't go back and listen to the episodes. I'm like, oh, yeah. I just said mm-hmm. something. Man. Hey, I'm gonna... Highlight of my week, I say. I have to listen to it. Live and let live, I say. Not to... for the if you want to go into the future and listen to our Ed Wood episode. <laughs> <laughs> We talk, we be like, okay, let's wrap up. And then we just talked for another 10 minutes. I was like, what the hell? We didn't wrap. Mm. Should have just cut that line out. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of stuff. You're right. I should have. What the hell? Still in the I still can. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overthink it, bro. Like that, We've been that, doing this for that, four to uh, 50 eps. Yeah. Ernest Borgnine is talking about taking over the ship. He's like, we could take that guy. And I'm like, oh, no, you couldn't. Come He's on. got some. Bad teeth. See that Ernest Borgner. All right. All right. But it's a bad gas. All right. I said it. Hyped zapping. I love that that's a thing. Hyped zapping. What other kind of zapping is there? The regular kind. Low pitch. Like, zap. Zap. Thank you for zapping me. John. Thanks for you choosing to zap me. Oh, John, why are you peeing in me? Remember the talking toilet from New York? Nope, don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, I'm so glad this you don't remember. So this is where is way better than Star Trek. <laughs> Look at that. He is kicking ass. And Bob is like, what? That's why we're the best. We're the best. Around. <laughs> Another 80s. Wait, this is 79. Never mind. But it was December 79, so that's practically 80. Yeah. Right. I saw this. Uh it ran like back in the 80s uh in North Dakota. We didn't have cable. Uh so in order to get a movie channel, you had to do it through antenna. So what they would do was there was a very uh, a limited movie service called Starcase, which then became Preview a few years later. And you had a special antenna that would pick it up, and at three o'clock in the afternoon, you would tune into chan- you turn your TV on to channel three, and then on this little box on top of your TV, you would tune it to channel sixty-eight, and that would tune you into a till three o'clock, and then afterwards, it would turn into this movie channel, which was essentially Cinemax because they would have the private screenings in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at like midnight, it'd be like oh they, they got the bit of titty films. I was too young to stay up that late to see. Of course, in 1980. Um, but but every movie that came out from like 79 to 80 to yeah. 81, I know from watching on there. So and earlier too, because they played Superman the movie constantly on there, Star Trek the motion picture constantly, and the Black Hole, along with like Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, and a, and a couple so you others. Like, like paid for the. Paper cable basically, but it was just like one movie at yeah, a time. Yeah, it was like getting an, you know, it was like in a, no, a, a, a subscription the... to, to like HBO at the time, except it just like if HBO started at three in the afternoon and then on the weekends it ran full time. And then when Monday came around after private screenings on Sunday nights, it would go back <laughs> to channel 68. But it's like, but this is so I saw this movie hundreds of times at the time and Star Trek hundreds of times, Superman right. hundreds of times, Charlie Brown yeah. and. Things like Cannonball Run and Smokey and the Bandit and all those other oh, big movies God. from the late seventies and no the 80s. way to go. And that's well, there were any get video that. stores, right? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have Bandit stores. Run. I, I feel can, like that's probably where I saw this because Ron I was the, obviously only three yeah. when it was released. Look at the bad blue screen here too, a little rough around the hair. The hairs—they should have all been bald. Yeah, they should have just shaved everyone's head. Because yeah. in order to be on this ship, you gotta. But then they would have gotten the reflection off of the blue screen. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I know all about it. But when you know, I... This, I, can, I can remember movies like Fatso starring Dom DeLuise because every month they would come out with the, here's <laughs> what's, what's released, what's coming up on Starcase, you know, this month and stuff. <laughs> Fatso with Dom DeLuise. Yeah. I, know, it's like I also saw Smokey and the Bandit 2 on there all the time and stuff too, which is a... Horrible movie, but best Burtless movie ever. <laughs> That's Smoking the Bandit Three is the best. Oh, movie. sorry, sorry. Which is also horrible. It's kind of funny to talk about Einstein, Rosen, Bridges, and stuff. Those were in Thor as well. Um, oh. A little more recently, they talk about the the Rainbow Bridge, sort of comparing it to an Einstein Rosen Bridge. Very nice. I also yeah. like to point out that uh, I also saw uh, Moonraker 
it was the first Bond movie that I watched was on uh, Starcase. I didn't I didn't sit uh-huh. through the whole thing. I started over at Brian Hailstone's house in Greece. <laughs> they were playing those and Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. So when we get to our the movie, maker, I can talk. Yes, that terrible movie yeah. with the Bee Gees and like Steve every Martin. other person. Steve yeah, Martin's we're not band. doing a we're not going to do a Sergeant Pepper's no episode. No, we are not. <laughs> But here's where you sort of get like the man love thing going on between yeah. Reinhardt and um, I Alex. I think like it's it's yeah, like it's, it's like, it's like there is sort of like a, a, an undertone of like he's kind of into him romantically because hmm. he's like I I do that if <laughs> and other thing. I you mean, know, twenty years this guy hasn't really you know it's probably been a long time since he's had sex. Been a long so time. So here you learn that Kate's wrong. dad was killed by Reinhardt. And you also learned that old Bob, I don't know how he's working with all those wires sticking out of him. <laughs> he's probably it's like decoration. He, he put them him. there. He's oh. the best. That's, I mean, he's it's... the best. He just wants people to think he he's fucked up. He so himself he can... without hands. All right. yeah. People <laughs> underestimate It's kind of like what it's like. I don't want to say typical, but it's like it's basic sci fi sort of like, oh, the crew, like, well, they all. You know, like it's it's kind of like uh, it's a metaphor for current American pol- politics. You can apply it to that. Exactly. Let's do that. All right. Sure. Let's go there. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm is the, I was trying to trying to put a political bent on this? You yeah. know, it's funny. My my friend called me today, and he was like, "I'm actually on the steps of the Capitol right now." He was in D.C. and he was at the Capitol. He's like they. I was like, well, what is what's going on there? He's like, well, they took the big fences down and stuff. But I was like, yeah, oh, now you cool. can after that riot, I guess. So now uh, is it Ernest Borgnine kind of being? Yeah, like, Ernest Borgnine was like, like, let's go do this. Let's take over. And now yeah. he's like, oh, shit, no, I ain't gonna we do that. Can't. These guys got people under mind control and shit. Oh, shit. I yeah, I, they he, control they, their minds. Turned, he, yeah, he was all, all he was all talk before, and now he's. Now yeah. he's a, his true nature of being a wimpy coward comes out. A weirdo dummy. Or whatever. A weird dummy. A weird dummy. <laughs> See, but like like here, like Anthony Perkins is sort of like, hey, you're pretty great. You're and, all right. You know, sorry that I'm a nobody asking you this stuff, but could you tell me about how you're great you are? Maybe I could stay here forever. Great. And here's the ESP eight. ESP comes back into play where it's just like, we gotta go. Well, there you go. See, they did bring it back. But it doesn't... Just, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. How can a robot have ESP? No, he can't. I mean, he's 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 the best, but I don't think yeah. he can do that. No, he's not cool. <laughs> he's the man! He's great. Nah, he's weird. So he wants to go into the black hole. Yeah, that's like that's, that's the thing. Simple. And uh, Anthony Perkins is like, I think he could do it. Look at him; he's Perfect. awesome. Look at that beard. That beard he's is amazing. The the same color as his robot. And this is like long before there was beard oils and all kinds of things yeah. to help you with your beard. Yeah, he must have itched like crazy. <laughs> and there's Vincent using the ESP. You can uh, tell because it's been on the eye. Oh, ah. Uh. There but it's an ESP with a robot, so isn't that not ESP? It's like some, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's your sensory robot. perception. It's, it's it could be with anybody. It could be with a flower or this no, guy with, with no face. Matt painting. Matt painting. Drink. That one's not that good, actually. <laughs> Matt Flatman. <laughs> I like the little the the display of the Cygnus staying up on the like, he <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh and there it is right there still. Yeah. Like, weep, 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 weep. That's like fifty sci-fi shit. Yeah. <laughs> I but feel I, like uh, yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah. No. No. I was because I feel right. like Sean Connery should have played er- this part. Whereas er- if Ernest Borgnine you know, couldn't we'll, make we'll it, we'll get to we'll get to Sean Connery's Outland sci-fi seventies oh. uh, movie at some point. Yeah, totally. which I've never seen, so I don't know if it's. Oh, that'd be good. Maybe we'll we should. Zardoz. I was gonna say, how come we're not talking about Zardoz? 
Yeah. That and one, then you were then you were talking about Zardos, and I was yeah. like, "We're the best." Yeah. <laughs> Humanoids. And you like, what? My mother says. Sorry. That's my Anthony Perkins Hello. psycho joke. Take a drink. Uh, <laughs> ignore my Dracula um, <laughs> necklace. I'm cool. I'm not like Dracula at yeah. all. I'm fine. No, I'm, and I'm wearing red. That's this, not bad. Uh, here's a here's a little cameo right here of the director as the uh, as the zombie uh, crew member. Really? Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> that how cool is that? That yeah, is, that's that is cool. Yes, when you're when you're eight. When put myself in the yes. Well, I think it's cool that as a director, that's his cameo. Like that's all, that's perfect. That's, that's Gary, one of the best. Whatever his name is, well, it's one of the best that, ever. So. Best to ever do it. Cameo in your movie. Gary Nelson. Uh, yeah, Gary Nelson. <laughs> he doesn't want to do like a big like acting cameo like Taron Tarantula or whatever, you know. Tarantula. <laughs> Quinn, <laughs> Quinn Tarantula. Oh, he knew what I mean. Uh, it's so Terrible funny. Stuff. Ever since Hitchcock, all these directors like to put themselves in the movie. There was a great. I mean, well, this is a great way to do it. You know, zombie. Well, like, let's not go. Off, this is the best death scene in any right. movie. This was so. in the trailer, apparently. Even well, that, that's this scene. Spoiler. I love it. He just he's like, here, let me put ah! my. Notes. I'll get my notes in the way. That should I mean, stop it. Ah, that is a great death scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the book um, thing was improvised. Yes. Really? Oh, I didn't, yeah. didn't read that. Like originally, I mean, he was just going to kill him with his his thing, but then they were like, you know, it would be better. Yeah, put your put your. And, and they were also play. saying like that he's like he's trying to use his knowledge as to his yeah. defense. Oh man, he's like that guy was in love with me. Why did you kill him? Jeez. <laughs> that was a good traffic keeper. This is also a great line where he's like, "Protect me from Max Billion," but like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Awkward. It kind of does show what a badass Maximilian is. Yes. I like that. I do oh. like that. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She's fine. Yeah, no, I'm feeling fine. But why? Well, yeah. I don't need to go to the hospital. I'm good. What's the up with you guys? I mean, whatever. I know it's a PG sci fi Disney movie, but wouldn't their blood have been splattered? Wait, I can't look at There's been... only so much, there's only so far PG will take you in a Disney film. Yeah. They were getting a lot of hate mail, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Like parents were what? like, I weren't you guys and your F words. That ship your... looks like a dick. <laughs> okay. And your nudity. We're, we hope you go out of business. That event memo and her you know, bare breasts. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mimeo, whatever. Tight fitting, Mimeo, Mimeo Graf and Matt Flatman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, recently they picked up a uh, on a, some sort of like sound radar in real life a black hole uh, swallowing a neutron star. Really? Oh, yes. yummy. The last couple, as of this recording, black hole having a little lunch. Mm-mm-mm. Black hole, sir. Neutral neutron oh, star is delicious. Oh, I mean, I mean, look at that. See, so it's, this movie was. I mean, at the time, yeah. there was a lot of space stuff. People were still kind of excited about space. And, I mean, I know the moon landing was nineteen sixty. It was faked. Nine. Yeah, right. Well, whatever. But uh, <laughs> I like how he's I using mean, the. Uh, a lot of things. Was he using like the optical scanner? To like open the door, or what was he doing? It's like I need an eyeball, right? For yeah. Avengers. <laughs> First Avengers movie. Try not to fall. The, walking, the, walking difficult. Goose, goose stepping morons like yourself should try reading books instead of burning them. I see. That's yeah. what he told the producer Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Payne. Matt Platman. He wasn't a producer anymore, so it's okay. <laughs> Matt Platman. 
So they used, uh, you know, traditional Disney animators to do all these sort of special effects. Good. Because it fucking looks dope. Which also happened in, uh, what was that movie we saw at the, um, in Harvard Square there? Forbidden Planet. They used uh, Disney animators on that, although it was not a Disney movie. Well, this was like a thing back then. They used like in-house. Yes. The last times, right? Yeah. Um, Just like like the last time. Yeah. Just like the last time they used an orchestra. Right. They like hired. It was the last time they used a house. (laughs) Instead of like, (laughs) you know, hiring an effects studio. Yeah. Well, there wasn't any need to because they had all the guys. So, yeah. you know, because Disney was, was and they weren't those. trying to do they weren't trying to recreate Star Wars every two months. Right. right. Everybody needs to come up their own way. Like, that's pretty bad animation right there. Hey, look, at, it's 1979. It's OK. It's I know. Like, I'm just saying. Reminds me of Goldfinger, though. Like, look, it's like, oh, that is pretty bad. That was cool, though. That was timed, yeah, right? Part, it looks good. The part where stars like, do you expect me to talk? And Robert Forrest yeah. is like, no, I expect you to die. Now let's get the tinfoil hat. Hey, but look at Bob! <laughs> that was pretty mm-hmm. lame. That's it's starting to look a little... Oh, Bob was there earlier. Okay. Then... Oh, now it's like, we love each other. Yes. It's nice. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my trigger figure exercises. That's like the girl, <laughs> Eve, Eve. What's her name in Star Trek the motion picture? Is it Eve? No, it's Ilya. Ilya, Ilya, yeah. Put this, put this cap on. Dressed in silver, yeah. just like that other movie that's coming out. One of the reviews, one of the reviews I saw of this, they were talking about this movie is trying to be everything else. It's trying to be Star Wars and this and that and Alien too. And I was like, Alien came out at the same time as this. It is not trying to mimic Alien. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a part like, sound. Like Star Wars, like you could, I mean, you could kind of be like, I mean, Star Wars was mega popular. Yeah, of Star course. Wars was, yeah, it was like permeating. But, the I mean, world. that happens in movies. All the time. A movie is really popular and, they, and all these yeah, other studios everyone, want to make one. Yeah, just like uh, when Pulp Fiction came out and then every other movie was trying to be Pulp Fiction. For yeah, that. I mean, it's the same thing when, when like Chicago came out and then every every studio was making musicals. It's just, yeah. it's, it's, it happens all the time. And then yeah. all those musicals failed, but they had it coming. I know. They had it coming. Uh-huh. Good job. Good uh-huh. job. Thank you. I like that. I'll Good be balance. here all night. <laughs> well, we're near the climax. You won't be here all night. Well, that's what that's what Ernest Borgnine said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to finish when you are. Okay. <laughs> I'm near the climax. <sighs> all right. Yeah, you're the, the best, movie, Bob. The movie you're the starts best. to fall apart at this point. Yeah, like, the story what, goes completely out the window. Yeah, it's just like it's just like science. What's that about? Who cares? He's like, uh, story? Who cares? He's like, yeah. I'm Han Solo now. <laughs> it's just like, guys just fall off. He does have... There's, a, there's like a little miniature bob and uh, <laughs> that last shot. Yeah. And probably there too. Although pretty, that looks like bad. Pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I read something about the guns in this scene. That the actors they shot a, a version oh, where yeah, they, they have little, like like they have lights that would actually have lights in them. So when you fire them, it would give the animators you know a, a cue to do. But it. the but, actors like were just shooting themselves and on the ground, and yeah, they had no control over it. it. Really <laughs> yeah. I know that's how I'd be too. I'd be like, I can't help it. Laser <laughs> tag. <laughs> oh, oh, Bob. oh, right in the oh, eye. Oh, oh. Oh, poor, oh, that looks bad. Poor Bob. Snap painting. That's okay. I mean, okay. The, and they touched him on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me like Star used to touch me. Yeah. He did things to me I can't repeat. <laughs> oh, poor Bob! But he's like, "Hey, this is the first fight I've done in thirty years. I like it. I'm I mean, for... it it's better than getting beat up. <laughs> I get to shoot people. Why wasn't he shooting them when they beat him up? I don't understand." <laughs> Why is he, he smacking really himself over the head? top there? That's a little... <laughs> Maximilian Schnell, come on. Schnell, 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 Schnell. Schnell. <sighs> Blow them out of the sky. Uh, I guess, didn't he? I, I, I guess maybe I did hear in one of these YouTube things that he was like, oh, I get to chew the scenery. 
Great. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Great. Said, like, Sign me he up. He said that most sci- sci-fi movies, like the humans, are boring, and he said that the the best actor in the Star Wars movies was R two D two. Oh, <laughs> so he he was he really loved to play opposite Vincent. So we'll make a yeah. better R two D two. A best R two D two at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna raise hell. I like it. He said the H word. Oh, I know, in a Disney movie. Uh oh. They're pinned down. Jump into the trash compactor. Yes. Into the garbage, you fly boy. <laughs> Joseph Bottoms, bottom. <laughs> it's a little short for Vincent. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Oh, that's wine. <laughs> she's, not, she's not Sean Connery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's sh- 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 that wine? <laughs> like, this guy's a douchebag. Oh, he broke his leg. Or did he? Did he? Mm. Oh. Get right. me some Kleenex. Right, good. Yeah, that sounds convincing. Get me some Kleenex. <laughs> 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 there you go. Oh, I'm I have some privacy. <laughs> All right, enough. I've had too much to drink. I can't not make masturbation jokes. Go ahead. Just <laughs> And then you can be like, oh, when I'm editing this, why did I say I was called the hell? Look at that. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, when I do so the, the oh, editing God. pass on myself, I notice myself being an idiot, but not you guys. I'm like, oh, uh, oh, God. Why did no, I, I don't even do a pass uh, on I, I feel like, like you barely say anything. Because he cuts <laughs> everything out. Yeah. But here, look at now. now Ernest Borg gets his comeuppance. Don't come up! Don't come up! I say stuff. You guys just talk over me, just like oh, that. You're See, right. we do. We do. Wait, right. when did we was talking over you? We weren't talking over you. Mm. You just don't say things. Yeah. Right. He's I quit. He's, <laughs> you're, well, you're not best. even. You're not even a part of the show. Anymore. I'm the best. We're the best. We're the best. <laughs> We're the best. Around. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Ernest. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hardly knew you. Yeah. You just up in Venice like a fart in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Later. Bye. <laughs> yeah. See you. Bye. Ernest. Yeah. You can't unscramble eggs. What a great... <laughs> I love this philosophy. Hey, he's dead. Can't unscramble eggs. Yeah. Can't unring Can't that put bell. toothpaste back in the tube. What did we used to say about this podcast? You can't unlisten. <laughs> yeah. Listen. <laughs> you can't unlisten. <laughs> and so Ooh, shit. this effect here, which is not very good... Um, they had all these, I, I don't know if they were like plastic balls they dropped from the ceiling at the camera. They look like cheese balls. Yeah, they're not very good. But this <laughs> is like sort of the iconic shot of, from this movie coming up, which is essentially repeated in Raiders of the Lost Ark in a way. I got some good sparkles there. And I remember that in the trailer when I went to see Star Trek, the motion picture in the theater. This this trailer really before it. I love how the, the robot is kind of bad because there's that is yeah. bad. And like the meteors are like see through. Meteor yeah, why? Well, yeah. Chipperoni or whatever. <laughs> and here's the black hole ride, which they I know it looks like do, Disney. The black hole ride, which eventually after years became like Buzz Lightyear's. Yeah, or like they Space Mountain or something. The rides. That's pretty good though. I mean, that's lasts a long time between yeah. black hole and Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. They do look like cheese balls. I yeah. mean, come on. But that's a that's giant a- cheese ball. I'm kind of hungry right now. Uh, I like a cheese ball, but I don't really like a Cheeto. Does that make me weird? No, because cheese balls are much lighter. 
They're better, I right? Liked, They're better. Yeah. I want to say that the compositing on that shot was also quite good. That was good. Yeah. What's he going to do? Shoot, shoot the cheese ball? Shoot the shoot cheese the ball. <laughs> shoot oh, the glass. <laughs> Let's get some more wine. Here's, cool. yeah, here is definitely where science just goes out the window in this scene. Remember to shit so that we can have potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's like in the Martian. Those, it's oh, they didn't even go down. Yeah, Come just, on, Bob. Oh, oh see, uh, that's good. classic. Uh oh. Well, you know, you got a hull breach here, and they're like, "Oh, this is gonna suck, kind of bad, huh?" Yeah, they would but be they're dead. Like they're like, "It's okay. It's a little cold." Hang on, Kate. <laughs> like, but then on. they go. Then they're on the outside of the ship here, coming up without protective gear or anything. But apparently, the actors were like, "Well, we don't, we don't want to put that stuff on." And they were just like, well, <laughs> "Okay, science be damned." I mean, it's yeah. not, that's pretty I, funny. Not as though anything else is following any sort of logical pattern at this point, anyway. Yeah, I kind of have to agree with Neil deGrasse Tyson on this one. This is a little uh... right. I got you, Bob. He's the. <laughs> Bob will live. Actors can get away with that now. They have to, like, sit six hours in the fucking makeup chair. Yeah, but whenever you watch, like, a Marvel movie, everybody pulls their mask off. You know? They're like, well, oh, like that. Secret identity. Don't care. Not like Dave Batista. I mean, that guy is... Guy is... He's, something. he's in the makeup chair for a long time. And then when he's like, I don't think I want to do this anymore, they're like, what? <laughs> like I'm 50 years old. Like I don't need to do this. Anyway, even Quinto was in the chair for a long time to be Spock. I digress. I digress. Yeah, like I love Quinto like, and oh, Nemo. We have a little white stuff in our hair. We must have been out in space. Yeah, <laughs> a little chilly out there in the black <laughs> hole. <Shivering. laughs> cheese balls. It's like transparent cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I have the Vincent variant where he's covered uh -huh. in uh covered in gray dust. Or cheese? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> covered in orange cheese. Yeah, covered in orange <laughs> dust. Not even real cheese. Here he goes. Like this guy's been waiting to go through this black hole for like a long time. He's psyched. He should have done it last week before these people showed up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> It what was he waiting for? We're 20 years for this. Uh, he's looking at his aura up there on the screen. Yeah, it's kind of like, like, like a real Zen thing. He's like, yeah. isn't I, can't I, who do I have to blow around here to listen to some music while this cool thing happens? <laughs> put on my, like, put nice on my playlist. Put on, put on some Anya. Put on <laughs> Walk of Life. Zeppelin. <laughs> Uh, here's the best. Here's the second best death scene ever. This was the scene. It's coming up. There's a very specific shot that gave me nightmares. Uh, but this whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah. When they go through the, the thing. The director's right. definitely right. dead. Max Maximilian in him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I fucking. But this remember. is like this death scene. He has a screen fall on him or something. Well. Yeah. But then he's just pathetic. Well, I didn't know that when I was You're a kid. Pathetic. That's what's that's what's cool about it. <laughs> I know it, it is. becomes a pathetic uh, little like. Oh. I mean, eventually it'll happen. That was a lot of oh, look at all that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you even buy those things? Damn, they sell them Whoa, still no. just at the supermarket. Just go to Shaw's. Yeah, just go to Shaw's, pick up a Maximilian. Oh, cheese. oh, I thought you meant cheese ball. Yeah. Okay. Prepare the strobe hey, ship. Hey, man. What do you say? Morgan's hey, like, I'm going to prepare the stroke ship. Whoa. Look, I've been waiting for 20 years. Can I just Fort call you Max? Not here anymore. Is it okay? No! Oh! Ah, ah, my flat screen. Oh, Cries of pain. Cries of pain. A couple weeks ago. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, and then see Max Billings like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's like, he's just like, help me. Thanks, me. I help with you. In the Walk of Life um, sub subtitle underneath me, it's going to say Cries of Pain. Cries of Pain. <laughs> over and over again. 
<laughs> as you're riding home. Yeah, yeah. Listen, somebody, you're I know the it. director, just, can't you just, help me? He's just begging, and that's what makes him a that sad is, sack, just like how Bob was earlier. Yeah, but Bob turned it around. Yeah, no, he, it's the so, like they switched the places. That's Bob was pathetic, and now yeah. he's the best. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's the message, really. It's because yeah. Bob was this bullied. Oh, man. Oh, okay, well, well, there goes that. <laughs> 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 and he ended up on the side of the good guys, yeah. and, and he helps them. Through. And he helps them escape the death ship, as he called it. Yeah. So that's the whole dealy. All right. So if if there's time to start doing drugs, it's in another like two minutes or so for the <laughs> ending. The whirling dervish has nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> You can hit. Can I just drink? Because I don't have any drugs. Yeah, I don't have any drugs either. And I don't have anything to mix. Mad Platinum. I don't know if I can do a straight vodka thing. Do a sip. It's fine. All right, fine. For you? Yeah, I'll I'll do a sip. Here, listen. Here I go. I'm pouring. All right, good. Here we go. You hear that? I did hear that. That's a shot of vodka. Nice. You don't have to shoot it. Just, just do a little sip. Do you have any ice? Well, you no, I'm, I'm up in my shoot office. It, I have to go way it, far away. Shoot from it, shoot you it, should have a out of town. It, I do it. have a fridge up here. It's just not plugged in. Electrical zapping. Well, no one Better has said that, so zapping. I can't do it. Well, high pitch noises. Matt Flatman. Oh, I didn't have to do a shot then. Oh, he looks like he looks like that. Living, living in the twenty first century. <laughs> What was the name of that show? Uh, Terra Hawks. Oh, wow. Look at this. I can remember that, but I can't yeah. remember what I did yesterday. Wow, look at Vincent. Yeah. Do we have mild dementia? Do you think? Is that what it was is? that a constitutive <laughs> joke? <laughs> Come on, Anita. Yeah. Bye. Back Bye, somewhere. bitch. That's Suck a dick. That was awesome. I'm just going to say. But, but awesome. here they are outside the ship. They're like, yeah. but we're okay. Because they're getting hey. into the probe ship. All right. Am I doing the shot or what? Yeah. Matt yeah. painting. Oh, so, is there a reason? Do you need to do it when? I, they yeah, I don't know. Matt painting? I can't <laughs> vodka by itself. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Siamese vodka. Vodka is nothing. Listen to our. In you know, the Soviet to... Russia. <laughs> You we haven't done that one yet. I know, but when it happens, there's the there's your oh, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm waiting for Good. the scene where Bye. I had night. Oh, this might have been I mean, that was no bad. no, I know when it is. It's when they go into the black hole and right. him and Max Million it's fucking spoilers. Crazy. I know exactly what you're talking about. Spoilers. Oh, and here's poor Bob. This is this made me really sad. My hover stabilizer's gone. Man, I I know that feeling. I love how Bob had this sort of like southern drawl kind of thing going. Yeah. <laughs> well, Vincent's got like an English accent, so why not? Why not? Why not program? You know? mm. But Parmy goes with you. Carry on the tradition. Yeah. Carry on. We're the best. We're the best around. Boom. And like, what is it? Ooh, like his head closes, and that means I guess he's dead. Like it's like the saddest. Yeah. One it of the sad. few times they even moved Vincent's eyes. Yeah, and if it wasn't for the weird undulating walls, it would be more effective. <laughs> so it's like I this mean, side, I, I probably tried, right? Like this mean, was cheese tried. ball dust, man. Those guys are in for a treat. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> They're licking their hands. It's so bad. That's what I'm saying. This movie just is like whatever. It really, the last like, half hour is just like yeah. forget. All right. This guy should be getting spaghetti. Yeah, he should get spaghetti fight at that point. <laughs> yeah. So that his feet are in the black hole while his right. like, the rest it's of the like body just is big here. Long. That's like what they say happens to you. You get stretched out from miles. At least Maybe in my like John sign. Or, or, or like, a, like a, an angel like here. Lasagna. Yeah, an angel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Cygnus is, is falling I, apart. That is a, Fantastic design. So it I don't really know is. Sense, but they, sure. they, they were sort of using the Eiffel Tower as their inspiration. Oh, nice. Oh, the yeah, it kind of reminds me of that game where you'd like have marbles and like a tube and and you put sticks in it. Do you know what I'm talking about? 
Yes, I do. Um, Tinker Toys. Hmm. Yeah, that uh, thing. but it makes me think of an Erector set. <laughs> Make me think of an Erector. Like Ernest Borgnine set. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be done. I'll take a drink to that. Do you need me to say matte painting to you for you to have a drink, or no, are I you covered? My, You're uh, covered. Thank you. Thank are you covered? Uh, one I more can, for me. Well, I'll say it. Matt Payne. Matt Payne. Matt Payne. I hear it. Uh, trying not to pour too much because I don't you just sip it. Get just wasted sip at it. the end of the movie. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Sip it. Okay, we're there we up. go. I mean, this, is, this is pretty cool right now for 1979. You have to. Yeah, that. yeah that's, I love the way this movie looks. It's I, got a Japanese yes, style. I, yeah. A visual flair. Just as good but as 2001 have, or Star Wars. They did whatever. not have a finished script for this part. So they were like, how are we going to end this? They're like, I don't know. And they want to have all this religious imagery where it would like zoom in on Kate's eyes and then pull back and it would be, you know, the painting on the Sistine Chapel of God reaching out to Adam and she'd be one of the angels. Oh, stuff. yeah. And then they were like, dial it back. Stuff and then. Yeah, they were like, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no religious stuff. This is a Disney movie. I know we're PG, but yeah, yeah I'm glad let's wait till no, Star no, Trek. Not six, even like religious. Five. This is silly. Well, it still has this weird religious hellish symbolism coming up, which is your nightmare. Yeah, no, literally. What the, are you doing? The so that they, yeah. you know, like, the, like, so they were like spinning around and shit. That's an actual thing, I think. I mean, if I remember correctly. It looks like, looks like, like it. it. Like you'd see this in the 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 science museum, you know, uh, what do they call the Omni Theater yeah. out there in North Dakota? Yeah, Omni Omni North, they call it. Omni. <laughs> <laughs> but similar to the, uh, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Be similar yeah. to Robert Forrester's greatest movie is a movie called Avalanche, which they did in the reboot of Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> That's his greatest movie. It is. And what is great, if you watch the movies in order, a guy that appears in that movie appears in the previous episode from a movie like 30 years earlier. Oh, my it's God. They're like, they're like, do this and do that. And then one of them says, and that goes for you, too, Danny from the last movie. And I was like, that is, <laughs> that is great, making a reference to that last movie. Oh, like it's silence. They have to tell you that nothing's happening. Oh, also telling me there's whooshing and silence. And now there's more silence. And well, I was saying there's... You're not her. missing anything by having the sound off. I was. There's kind of like a parallel between Here that and Here's the Durson's, warp. There's some scary part. The warp and I, the motion this, picture. This freaks me as a kid too. Okay. Here it is. Here it, but it's like. Let's see if I get freaked. Oh, yeah. just, no, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Because yeah. like, when it comes, I'm gonna like scream like a little girl. Like, like a goat. Like a goat. Crotch wait, shot. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get the thing. Up Quick. the crotch. Quick. Here it comes. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> and so, and that—it's so freaky. Yeah. And then, you know, like, they kiss, and, right? And as I was, and as I was telling you last week, that the like and he's trapped inside him, so that the man and the machine are one. Oh my god. Oh, and, so it's like a. No like, idea. I, mean, I was like five, right? I mean, I yeah. No, it's. For, it's like and a so Dalek a kind of thing. That I have came with one that had Reinhardt's eyes in it. But here, Max Million is like presiding over hell, essentially. Yeah, that's definitely. And there were yeah. supposed to be like demon things flying around, but this is, you know, I mean, he's like, so this is this is perfect. Is it his own inner hell? You know, it, like, mm -hmm. it's very ambiguous, but at the same time, hit you over the head. So I know. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so literally, my brother had to tell me to think of like balloons. That was so. My brother and I shared a room when I was a kid, right? And my brother was like, and I was like, I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. Like I was freaking out. Was like, think I was of watching Star Wars. This horrible thing happened. So, so that's and, what I think he said. Like he even told me, like think of something really like Charlie Brown, something that couldn't possibly like. You know, like be bad, and I remember, uh, yeah. So like, the, I have these to be talked back. To demons them. and stuff freak you out too, like all those creepy people, or is it just the Max Million? There's literally that shot. Of yeah, him. no, it because he yeah he's got this his hair's all crazy and he's weird and 
when he turns, <laughs> then he combines with his robot. <laughs> Every time I close my eyes, I saw that shot of his. Yeah, and then your brother was like, just <laughs> oh, think of the scene in Poltergeist with the tree, and you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, just think yeah. of the clowns spinning around your bedroom. Clowns? I didn't give a shit about clowns. I was Poltergeist talking about Poltergeist. And this were the things that kept me awake. Poltergeist yeah, freaked me out as a kid. It's Tarantula is and Forrestal from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark that got me. <laughs> I had a dream of being stuck in a bathtub covered in Tarantulas, and I was like, forget it. Now I'm oh, no. arachnophobic. But here is your re- religious imagery that doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. Or they're just like, let's just be the end of 2001. Yeah, they're just like, let's do a thing, I guess. And Which, oh, I would like to point out, I have the Whitman comic book adaptation of this. There are two, two, two things. Whitman. Uh, Whitman. Uh, Wayman. Which Whitman. I think they didn't have any, any of the likenesses Whitman. from act- actors because no one looks the same in it. But it was a short-lived comic series that went on for like four or five issues where they, they oh. go exploring. Like they say here, let's... Let's go find a new right. Earth. They're like on a dinosaur planet and this and that. And the other thing is, they did this as a uh, like Sunday comic strip illustrated by one Jack Kirby. And if you'd like to know more about Jack really? Kirby, listen to Ooh. our Buzz Dixon and Flint Dilly episodes. Episodes, yeah. Jack sure, why not? Jack why not? Issues three and four are actually titled Beyond the Black Hole. Uh, I only have the adaptation of the movie because those those issues are hard to find and expensive, apparently. Issue four is apparently very hard to find, and it's very, very well. You can find it in good condition. Then could they have put a couple of more frames of animation? Black hole to get it. And there you go. And there's the end of two thousand one right there, where the star child shows up, and there's the the Earth being backlit. And then they really. So this is like a prequel in this movie. Like they play it a lot in this movie, which I'm. All four. All right, I think we need to take a bio break before we discuss the, our final thoughts, right? Can we do that? Because I got to take a bio break, so you could fucking do whatever you want. But I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> So I guess we should get back on topic. Okay, yeah. put, put like Did a. You guys talk about anything cool? Because I might just cut all that shit. Yeah, cut it all out because it had nothing. Because like I was saying, we should have just stopped it there. I could pause the film. No. We have. Well, I just to kept the. the I just kept the recording just so that it wouldn't fuck up. No, no, no. You should, but I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it because we're at the end. Because it's you yeah. can't. No, cut I it can directly. cut it too. I'll send it to you with that part Look, cut speaking out. Speaking of cutting it, Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> <laughs> all right so springer, okay, final starting thought. by springer wow. i mean springer starting Hunter. now starting now we're back we're back yeah and so the black hole as here reached the end what do you guys think is this good special bad guest, indifferent? special guest clay uh you special please guest share your thoughts uh, okay, yeah. Uh, as someone that maybe remembers seeing this, not how you did with this weird movie thing, but maybe I saw it at my it's not nana's. That weird. It's just like having HBO. No, I know. Just like <laughs> I remember. Nineteen eighty. I remember the days pre-cable, and like when my my nana first had cable, it was like a box that was on top of the TV, and there was like buttons, and there was an A and a B, and but there were only like five channels on A. And then another five channels on B. <laughs> and it was like, I remember like it's slowly introducing itself to everybody. But I kind of, there's also like when I think of watching Star Wars, Star Trek, Godzilla, like Creature Double Feature. I remember like being like really little, like when I I lived on Summer Street, North Dakota. So it was like really <laughs> little. It was close to <laughs> West Street, which was yeah. not that long. And, and, but th- I feel like I sort of have a sense memory of this movie, but really I just watched it for the first time in 40 years, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool and it's, it's really fun. And I love the production design. It's very kind of Kubrick and stealing from all things that I love. And I just, I had a great time watching along and doing 450 episodes, give or take, uh, of, of week podcast. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm announcing take. my retirement. <laughs> So All thank right. you. Well, it's uh, great to have you as what, a guest. Yeah. What, uh, what what score do you give it? On a on a scale oh, of right. one through yeah. through F. 
<laughs> one through F. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it like a. I'm gonna give it like a B plus A minus. Nice. He, he, heavy. Oh, yeah. he, heavy. Nice. Heavy. Heavy A minus. You know, it, w- one out of ten. I would. I would probably give it a nine. Oh my god! Wait for Jay. You're you're welcome back to the show anytime. Right, well, thanks. I mean, I've actually been reconsidering my decision, so <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I think I will come back. Oh, well, that'd be great. We'll have you anytime you want. Anytime you want to plug something, just come on. Guys. Great. Come on, Lee Funk. Plug, plug something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who goes next. What's you, you go next. So, uh, all right, I agree. I, I have to say, I don't have much to add. Clay actually got all my stuff as far as the stuff. It, I don't want to say it stole. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Let's that, say borrow. Like, you borrow. There's a lot of sci-fi tropes, I guess we'll just say in here, but they're all good. Like it's like the good stuff. You know, if you're gonna borrow or steal or beg, beg, borrow, or steal, <laughs> um, steal the good stuff, right? I mean, like it's got all the great. It, it loses a little bit at the end because, yeah. like we said, it just kind of just becomes a shoot 'em up, and it's just kind of silly. Like it's like a whatever but at the yeah end, I, I totally don't mind whatever i mean there's like literally 10 people in this movie and they're all good <laughs> like you know what i mean counting gary nelson's like you know cameo, cameo. Yeah. so but i mean it's it's great whatever the robots are great i love bob and vincent it wins major points for just for those guys maximilian is badass yeah the robots <laughs> This Aces. movie was made for, I mean, I was five or so probably when I saw it. And I feel like it was exactly that's who it was made for. And I love it then and I love it now. I don't know. I'll, I'll say B plus. Sure. Well, nice. I yeah. was really worried that you were going to think this was a big stink fest. No. I mean, it's it's fun. The, yeah, you got to put that the stamp. I mentioned to Clay, I don't want to say chastise, but I thought it was hilarious that Clay only rates the Star Wars and Star Trek movies on over on his YouTube channel <laughs> by his experience in watching them. Right? Like, he has no actual, and I don't mean this as a as a bad thing, Clay, but like you have no real analysis of the movies. You literally just say, I like this movie, I like that movie, I like this movie. And I like this movie. So, so you, you're like on a scale of one to clay. Yeah, one this to is, clay. This is, a full, this is full clay. I am full clay on this movie. I love this movie. I saw it when I was a kid. It's still and you fun. were even freaked out by this movie, and you still give I it a beat. Super yeah. freaked out. I mean, but that's not... there, and you're not the only one. Other people have right. said that they're like, oh, that was a stuff of nightmares. That that last it scene. It was. It was, and that's great though, right? I mean, yeah. that's a cool thing. I like that. So there you go. I give it a B plus. And you know, if it was if the end was a little less cheese ball, like literally, literally, <laughs> I would have given <sighs> an A. I would have given an A, but you know, it loses a little bit at the end. But there you go. No, well, um as a child, as I was saying, I saw this a bunch of times on Starcase. And I liked it well enough back then. And then when we worked at the video store, we had it. And so I put it on one day. I made it 10 minutes in. I was like, I hate this. And then maybe (laughs) in 2008 or so, they played it on Turner Classic Movies. And I watched the intro with uh, Ben, what's his face, who the movie critic, Mankiewicz or whatever. Ben Mankiewicz, is that him that does it? I don't know. He's got a cut of tea in his But anyway, he's (laughs) a fairly famous movie critic. And listening to him talk about it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Check it out. So I rented it on Netflix back when you used to get DVDs. And then I was like, I fucking love this. Despite its flaws, I mean, story-wise, it does fall apart at the end, but and the character's a little eh, wooden and bland, but, but the characters, but production design is fantastic. Like, I mean, this was Disney's highest highest budgeted film at the time. And it was a change of pace for them. So I admire their bravery to do something different. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. did. And uh, I feel it's an overlooked classic. And uh, again, it does fall apart at the end. But it doesn't ruin my enjoyment of it. I'm willing to go. With, like, hey, look, at, like Spielberg said, look, if, I'm, if I've got them for two hours, I'll let them believe that you could blow up a, a, a scuba tank and the shark will die. You know, and just. 
So I'm willing to go with it. I'm willing to go, okay, they're standing outside of a spaceship. He starts to float towards a black hole. It's fine. You know, I, uh, so I'm going to go with Clay on this, give it a, a an A minus. Wow. Uh, despite right. despite some of its weirdness and some of its wonky effects at the end. But prior to that, the effects, some of them really hold up. Some of them are great. Some of them know? are really good. And yeah, I agree. the and 150 map the paintings doesn't hurt map. much. You know, it, okay, it really <laughs> looks great. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, so, and, I and give different. it a recommend, but go into it knowing that at the end of the movie, it, it, it's sort of, mm, you, you got to really, you know, you got to suspension of disbelief. Is yeah, required. you got to do the Ed Wood, yeah. go into the future, and this is our Ed Wood episode, suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Yeah. But I, <laughs> otherwise, I love it, and I was sort of like, I don't know if I want to do a watch along with this, because I don't know what I'm going to say, but hey, we had stuff to say, so it was great. You- we well, lot, I actually I like <laughs> I like to uh, I like your little hero's journey with it, too, where you're like, I like it. And then I put it away and I try to watch it at the video store. And then I tried to watch it one time. But then you kind of came around and you're like, yeah, yeah this I, is I, actually I, I, I get it. I, I kind of get this. appreciate it until my like mid 30s. You know? <laughs> well, it was a funny thing at the video store, right? Because you could only watch PG movies or you know, yeah. up to movies so uh we had to kind of scrounge around for stuff we could watch when we were allowed to watch movies there was also yeah. certain times you weren't allowed to watch movies so only watch trailers so. yeah you had to all put on a trailer tonight and you're like fuck i don't want to watch a trailer <laughs> i want to watch a movie trailer. so yeah but i mean i don't recall ever putting this on but i mean my memories are of as a little kid my like the I might have put it on once or twice, or whatever, as an adult. But I mean, I remember literally. Here's here's a funny memory, right? You're talking about the hero's journey. The day we got Disney Plus, like the day Disney Plus became a thing, and I remember like scrolling through and being like, "What is on this thing?" And I'm like, "Oh, the black hole! I love that movie." I watched like ten minutes of it and said, "All right, I got to see what else is on." It. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I've yeah. been the one championing uh, this movie for like the past ten years. Uh, yeah. But it's it's I mean, like I said, Vincent, I, I have I have a black hole mini poster, uh, one of the nice. not the, not the poster they have, but like a way cooler one that has all the characters on there in my uh, in my drum room and stuff. So and it's real super cool. So nice. and it's yeah, famed. I mean, oh, oh. I don't care about I don't really care about Vincent Price or, uh, you know, uh, Vincent Price. What did I say? Anthony. What am I saying? Vincent Price? Um, I'm thinking of. Um, Vital, necessary, vital information, necessary, right. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Centralized. Ernest Borgnine. Right. right. Like, I, I only like, I love Vincent. I love Bob. I love Maximilian. Like, I mean, those are the, that was why I like this those movie. Are, that, that's a winning combo right there. Yeah. If they didn't have anybody else in the movie, I would be like, this movie is still <laughs> amazing. But the design of the Cygnus is, is fantastic. The uh, production design is great. The uh-huh. miniatures, everything looks good. Yeah, looks everything good. looks good, except for it's, the cheese balls. The cheese balls are—I mean, that's what happens. Some stuff it, doesn't it, look like great, said, but end, it mostly looks good. Oh, overall, like that, I yeah. take that in consideration. Overall. My overall grade is like, if they didn't, yeah, it, like you said, it's, it's a, it a high-budget movie for Disney. Like they wanted to compete, they wanted their Star Wars. I mean, that's not exactly what they wanted, but they did. You know, so like they put the best. They put their best foot forward. And the ironic thing is, by them purchasing the rights to Star Wars, they put the Black Hole remake on hold, which they had started developing back in, like, 2010 or so. Also, the box, the lackluster box office of Tron Legacy sort of put put the kibosh on it. I mean, it's unfortunate, but Tron Legacy was not a good movie i'm sorry clay i know i did a lot of fidgeting and sighing i remember the i, I mean i don't know that it was that great of a movie either i mean i uh-huh. i kind of like the original tron but that's a hard movie to watch like i could probably watch black hole like a 10 million I'm gonna more say, times between the two movies you know? tron and black hole i think tron was sort of more influential in many ways but i think think black hole is the better movie because i can't is- throw on tron and just watch. like i'm gonna watch tron like yeah. eh, we, i don't we think watched so. it we watched it when we first got disney plus it's like let's revisit tron i'm like this is kind of yeah. i mean it's rough all right but 
Uh, like that music in it. I know we're being <laughs> like it was supposed to be like oh god, you know, 80s and like we're current and hip and stuff. I was like this is this is ruining it for me the soundtrack. So, mm. but Black Hole, nice orchestra. It's since it was the last orchestral score ever done. Yeah, yeah, last ever. Part. Right, right, well, yeah. or, or or even an orchestra at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, it's the last orchestra they ever used in a movie. But uh, I mean, yeah, Tron is not what they call evergreen. You know, what I mean, it definitely, it, even though it's supposed to be taking place in the future or whatever, it's very eighties. And this movie is kind of like you could watch this movie and you have to kind of think, oh, it, it was made in nineteen seventy nine, but it could it holds up pretty well, I think. Yeah. So. I'll say three quarters of it holds up. <laughs> yeah, the last bit is tough. But I mean, like the uniforms are little seventies, but you know, but special. But they're also the very movie. much like the whatever we were talking. Were we talking about the belt buckles in uh, Star Trek: The Motion Picture? Like the, it's very much of that same style, like yeah. a jumpsuit with like extra like padding. That's almost like a Rob Liefeld pouch kind of yeah. like look <laughs> to it. You know, it was the style at the hey. time. 2001 too. Cyclical, right? Yeah. Fashion, yeah. everything comes back. Fashion is sickening. Yeah. <laughs> it's sickening. Well, why don't we uh, actually wrap it up? Because yeah, I think we're just it. sort of repeating ourselves. Let's so. talk for another 20 minutes. Well, we can, but just yeah. edit it out. All right. Well, thanks for listening. 450 episodes. I mean, yeah. we did it. That's a pretty big deal. Check out Clay's YouTube, and I think this is great. Check out RobinHoodComicBook.com. Check out Viz Media. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Viz.com. Get, get your get your subscription. Get your, your subscription your to get Rolling just, uh... Stone. <laughs> something <laughs> something on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just remember this. <laughs> Thanks, listen. 450 goddamn episodes. Go to GleePodcast.com. Check them all out. Listen to them all. It's like, yeah, <laughs> or the last hundred, which you can get on iTunes. Right. I mean, some of We got most of them up. Most of them are up there. Other ones they've yeah, seen. A lot of episodes. There's just probably episodes up there that where the audio is completely out of sync. Probably. What do we care? Uh, yeah, no. Listen to our our episode where we review Wolverine number like three or something like that back in yeah. two thousand and nine. <laughs> when we let, when we reviewed the first X Men movie, I don't think we did that. We were, no, we no, were I was saying, around then. I was but saying maybe, it was a joke Iron about Man, it was a joke about how long we've been around. Yeah, no, we've been around. This since wasn't very the, funny. At least the first Star Trek reboot. So that's right. It's true. I do we remember talking about that. Time. So, I mean, like, at least as long as the MCU, we've probably reviewed almost all the MCU, MCU movies. MC Muse. MC Mews. Mew. You bet me Mew. Mew. No, is that cute? Mew. Anyways, go back and listen to them all. There's our Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Thanks for listening, everybody. And, um... Leave us a review. Adios. <laughs> Later, you fuck. Sayonara. Anything I cannot stand, it's a sore loser.